<laughs> hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day. Had a great, wonderful day. We've obviously got an audience again. The chickens are quiet until we decide to hit record and then... They just started going up. So, today, I'm gonna try something. It, it, it really looks good up here, it really does. And I think, really good thinking, it is gonna work. I've got this shallow well that was on the property we've got. Water seems pretty good in it. Uh, and been, you know, flowing pretty well. Um, I think actually it's only about to the bottom of this thing, it's like 33 feet or something. A very shallow well. Uh, I think the top of the water is around 17 feet down or 20 feet, something like that. So, a little bit of water. It's been working out pretty good, but I've got a little 12-volt pump that I run off my solar onto this thing. But it's not like a pressure pump. It's just a pump, just to pump the water up. So, if you turn anything off, well, it auto-kicks that pump off. And all the water drains out. And, you know, it... it it resets it basically because of the solar it, it kicks it off the of solar so you got to re replay with your solar charge controller to set it all back up but what I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna make me a little small water tower here so we're gonna dig some holes we're gonna put some posts in concrete it we're making a water tower to support our shallow well well yeah the, Hold the water from the shallow well to support our animals, our animals, garden, and everything else around the place. Right. So, don't change that channel. We'll be right back. All right. So my theory, I'm using that as like a little base template, basically to get where I need to go. And I want to put my posts on the outside of this to run support going across and across. So I want the tote to fit with inside of it. So I figured, just take me a level just to go from the top of this uh, down to the ground. So I know that that's where I want one of the posts to go because I'm gonna attach a beam on the side here going to the front for this to sit onto on each side. And then I'm gonna run another support beam underneath to even support my other board, or four by four, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Alrighty, well, that's where the post should go. Uh, So day two, you know, life happens, and we had to stop yesterday. We had to run to the town, went, lots of stuff. Anyway, so what Jeff's doing now is he is just making sure the ground at the bottom of the hole is nice and sturdy, and then we're gonna pour some concrete down there, and we're gonna get these posts set in today so that they don't move, because that's gonna be a lot of weight once everything is said and done. A tote of water is heavy. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm just using my tampon bar, packing down that dirt at the bottom, because I'm kind of going to make a makeshift footer, I guess you'd say. Pour probably about, oh, three, four inches of some concrete down in the hole first. Then put the post on top of that. It, it's working up there. I <laughs> don't know if that's really a proper way to do it or not. Of course, always leave all my boo-boos down below and let me know. Or if you have another idea that would work better. We love fresh ideas. And as we've said before, we might not do it the right way, but we're either going to find out what works for us or what doesn't work at all. What can I do? 
I know you're not gonna ask me to pick up that bag of concrete. <laughs> Bring me uh, something to like poke a hole in that concrete bag. Okay, so, like always, I can't ever make a hole the way it needs to go. So, I had to dig out a couple. Good thing, bought an extra bag of concrete to help fill these in. Kind of put that tote back into place as a cheat to make sure that my measurements wouldn't be off because I normally am. That's going to sit there. We'll pull that out of the way, and then I'll put all my brace parts because this tote, you know, if it was a tote, it's going to be up here. So, All right. He did good. Yeah. <laughs> he fixed it. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little water in this and we're going to let it sit. We will come back after it dries a bit, probably tomorrow. But the magic of camera editing, it'll be in just a few minutes. See you soon. Alrighty. Concrete set pretty good. So now, start trying to get these inside pieces that the tote's going to actually sit and rest on put up. So what I'm going to end up doing is bringing them up and level them out. I'll we'll put a small probably screw through to kind of hold them into place. And then I'm going to drill through both of these to put a big bolt through them both to crank them down to really hold those into place because you know we want them to be able to hold the weight of all that, that water that's going to sit on there. So we hope. running a half inch bolt through it, cranking it on there, and that'll, that'll hold those four by fours into place. So let's go ahead and get those tacked up so I can drill through and put the bolts in. All right, so now we just got those screwed up into place to hold them where I need to. And then I just went down. I thought about getting one of those big screw kind of bits. Uh, but you know, they're like 20 bucks for those things. I found this one, I think for like 10 bucks, Home Depot. It's like a paddle bit, but it's, it's made more for like a boring bit. It's not quite flat. It's got the little screw point to help go in and it'll work pretty good and had you know make sure it was long enough so I can pass all the way through let's give her a whirl do you need me or can I paint I think you can paint all right so I'm going center I'm giving a good eyeball to go center and just go right on straight through both of them Yay, a hole. But what I will tell you is that when you're using this, those bits really grip into that wood. Uh, so you all need to like go in a little bit, back it out a little bit. Go in a little bit, back it out a little bit. I think what I may try doing is, is using a regular bit, paddle bit go in as far as I can with that one and then finish it off using this other one because that's gonna be a slow process going through there so let me try that but it should work to take our like lag bolt this is a half inch bolt I used half inch bit 
spoke because you want it to be good, Sup good super tight. And tight in there, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Recycled washer and nut. That works. Ta-da! All right, on to the next. Yep. So, we've got kind of the braces up there, so now I'm going to get the tote prepa prepared to go up there and then finish bracing everything out, but I want to get this up there so that just in case when I'm putting some braces across, it's not going to get in the way. So, we're going to, we need to take the tote out of here real quick because I'm going to take the bottom off of the tote because I don't, I don't need that little extra bit to sit up on there basically and then that way these bottom bolts here that go to hold the I guess the frame for like the forklift to get underneath I can re-screw from here into those boards that I put up there to keep it even a little more secured down to the brace boards that I put up there so Okie doke, we got cleaned up, unattached from the bottom of that the little forklift area to pick it up. Put the big support bars back on on top so you know it doesn't fan out too much. You got your lid. It's actually got a little hole normally on a lot of the top of these. Well, not a hole, a well indention. An indention. Some of them actually are a little threaded, but for my purposes, I'm cutting this, I'm, I'm gonna drill out this hole because that's where I'm gonna have the water from the well come all the way up and then go back into the top. But I'm making it a little bit, I'm using a 5 8 bit or a 3 quarter inch bit. The PEX pipe that I'm gonna be using to bring it up is half inch, but it's uh, about 5 8 diameter on the outside so it gives me a little bit of gap around there so that the air can still escape because if you seal it up and you pump water in this thing will blow up like a balloon uh, which I guess would give you a good water pressure to come back out but if you tried to fill it up too much it would probably bust or break or something but anyway I'm gonna drill this out and put this back on top so that I don't have to climb back up there drill and have all those little pieces and shavings fall back in May probably still put a little screen over that down in there to kind of close it off a little bit better. Air can still escape through that screen, and that way I don't get any bugs or getting in there. Now, hopefully my lovely assistant can come help me see if we can actually pick this up over our head and get it up there. You know, I'm 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 painting my door to my soap shop. But but I need the system. Okay. Hey, uh -huh. Chicky 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 chicky. Are they next? I'll use chicken power. Oh. Uh, Look at well, there. They come when I call. Well, can you give me just like just a second to finish the spot? All right. Y'all get on that side. Pick up. You expect me to what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to do it either. We're picking this up. We're gonna pick this up and put it up there. Oh, it's empty. It's empty. Um. Oh yeah, definitely don't fill it full of water and try to pick it up and put it up there first. Do it empty. Yeah. We can do that. Jerk it. Yeah. Voila! Looks kind of like a water tower. All right, got the tote up there. Got the support underneath the tote. This beam here, giving this extra support. These are all, these here and here are, you know, bolted through. Now what I'm gonna do is, is 
I'm going to put me some 4x4s along the bottom, and I'm going to bring me some 2x's at an angle uh, to give it a little bit of extra support along the bottom, and then start working on kind of framing around the top in a roof to, you know, get ready to put all the siding on it, and then make this area is going to be my doorway to go in. So that I can easily get to this valve here if I need to turn it off or anything like that. So get busy nailing this all together. I've got them 45 on each end to go in there so that they fit in just, you know, pretty good and snug. So it gives that extra support so hopefully it doesn't, you know, give too much twist and push them back. Hey! I'm way up high. My lovely assistant, come up here and maybe help me. What? What do you need me? I need you right here. I gotta tell you, I got one of those little folding ladders. I think this is actually one of those, I don't know, gorilla. But pretty sure they all work the same. These things are nice and sturdy. I don't mind getting up on a ladder like this. All right, I don't know if you can see. See this little line right there? Yeah. Okay. I want the top of that to go there. Woo! You know, it always takes you longer to do something than you think, don't it? Anywho, uh... Getting kind of the roof put on here. So hopefully you've learned a couple things from my mistakes or things I might have done right. But yeah, pretty much we took everything that we ripped off of that old playhouse, if you've seen that before. The 4x4s, some of these 2x4s, the tin roof that I'm about to put up on here. The bolts that are actually putting the two 4x4s together, that all came from the old treehouse. And then some of those 2x4s that got the bottom as my angle braces, those actually came out of the old shop that I had that's Shauna's Future Soap Shop. So another project where it's all stuff, even though it's bought wood, I didn't buy it. I just reused it. So always always make sure you, you know, don't just pitch a two by four away because you can always use it. Can you need my help? I don't know, we'll see. Please be careful. Got a little roof up on the top. And like I said, all it is is just gonna be the siding that goes around the sides. Just can't do the siding yet because I need to run all my plumbing parts and hoses Wire, for it. Wires from the solar. Wire from the solar, because I'm gonna put that one solar panel up on top of here. To run so, the lamp. Stay tuned for that one. That'll be coming up soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Glad you came along. I appreciate it. It's been a it's been a long three days for us to do work on this. Been, yeah, it's been a lot. Leave down anything of course down below of uh, Anything that you saw that I goofed on or any fresh that, ideas you think we can do to make it better and uh, or anything that maybe I helped you with one of your ideas. So, all right, y'all have a great and safe one. Can't wait to see y'all till next time. Later. God bless. You need my help? I don't know. We'll see.